factor the polynomial. In order to factor this polynomial, we're going to need to pull out three greatest common factors. A greatest common factor for our two x variables, a greatest common factor for our two y variables, and a greatest common factor for our two c variables. Each of these greatest common factors is going to have their own uh, exponential power that we'll need to figure out. And then once we factor all of that out, we need to figure out what is left over inside the parentheses. And those two things combined will give us our final answer. So let's start by finding the greatest common factor of our x variables. What is the highest power I can pull out of both x to the 18 and x to the 11? Well, it's going to be x to the 11. Here, anything divided by itself is just 1, so this will cancel and leave behind a 1. And then over here, we are dividing two numbers that have a like base, so we're going to subtract to their exponents. This is the same thing as x to the 18 minus x to the 11. And that is going to give us x to the 7. So x to the 7 is what's left over in this place. And what we've pulled out, what we factored out, was an x to the 11. So we're done with our x variables. Let's move on to our y variables. What is the greatest exponential power I can pull from both y to the negative 2 and y to the 2? It's going to be y to the negative 2. Here, anything divided by itself is just 1. So this will cancel and give us just the number 1 left over. And then, with this one, we once again have two like bases being divided, so we're going to need to subtract their exponents, y to the 2 minus negative 2. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. That's the same as 2 plus 2, which will give us y to the 4. So what's left over here is y to the 4th, and what we've pulled out is a y to the negative 2. Now to our z variable. The highest exponential power we can pull out of z to the 7 and z to the 7 is z to the 7. Anything divided by itself is just 1, so in both of these cases we will cancel them out and all that's left is a 1, and what we've pulled out is a z to the 7. So now if we were to rewrite all of this right here we would have our answer. We have x to the 11 times y to the negative 2 times z to the 7 all multiplied to x to the 7 times 1 times 1, anything times 1 is just itself, so it's just x to the 7 minus, again, anything times 1 is just itself, so y to the 4 times two ones will give us y to the 4th. And that matches answer choice C.